I wouldn't say to someone throughout your whole career, just work for low, don't really charge people because that's not gonna benefit you. But then at the same time, if you don't put yourself out there and you don't allow certain situations to happen, you're not exposing yourself to places that could help you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Aaron Sinclair and welcome to the medium. Oh, 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 365, because the original name wasn't there, but that's another story. Today we are gonna be talking about working for exposure versus working for money. Stay tuned. morning so hi like i said in the intro today we're going to be talking about working for exposure what is exposure exposure can be on your camera and how bright things are but exposure also is working for someone and not getting paid because they're going to give you exposure as in visibility or it may be a good thing to do this one is very complicated and it depends on where you are and how you feel about work for me, when I started off my job, I did a few jobs where I used to work for Exposure. It also helped me because I also got a bit of experience. I got to work with some amazing people. But working for Exposure, I wouldn't recommend doing it for long term because we all got bills to pay. Like, let's be real. But working for Exposure does have its benefits. One of those benefits is you can decide who you work with. Sometimes it may be a case of you just reach out to someone and be like, Do you know what, I really love your brand and I would love to work with you. How can we make this work? This one's interesting because although you may end up working for exposure so to speak it also allows you to pick certain clients that wouldn't be accessible to you when it comes to video editing and film production some people are really scared because they think it's going to cost millions and they're like i don't have the money but then at the same time people always want everything but don't want to pay for it and there may be opportunities where you can work for someone not get paid but then it can benefit you whether it be you have a name under your belt it's working with a client you always wanted to work with or it's just a project that is really exciting even now as a more senior videographer or video editor there's jobs that i will take on that don't pay as great because of the opportunity that can arise sometimes you have to think is this a money thing or is this a long-term goal thing sometimes you have to play the long game i don't know how to play chess but i know you have to think 10 steps ahead so for example if there's a big music artist that came over and someone said to me do you know what we've got this music artist and we'd love you to film it but our budget is only let's say 200 pounds in my head that's not really that great of a budget to do what that is but then you can also put into account that this is also an opportunity what can i make of this opportunity i may meet the celebrity and they may be like wow you're amazing da, 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 da. and they may really love my work and the end product and then that could bring on work afterwards but then on the flip side that may not happen but then you also need to remember you have now got something under your belt that you didn't have before and sometimes it's good to take up work when you didn't have anything to do there's sometimes where i haven't got any work and i may get a job offer and i'll be like do you know what let me just do it because one i'm not working anyway and two i don't know what can be made out of it there's lots of opportunities everywhere you go you just need to speak even for example networking you can go to a shoot and find someone who's going to elevate your career beyond everything that you thought possible if you're not willing to take a risk sometimes or you're always just thinking do you know what? everything's money focused and there's nothing wrong with being money focused but sometimes you can miss things by not opening your eyes to things it's a tricky one i'm not going to sit here and lie to you you need to work for money 100% but do I believe that you also need to sometimes take a hit to make your career go forward I also believe that and it's not a case that this is always going to be your life like I wouldn't say to someone throughout your whole career just work for low don't really charge people because that's not going to benefit you at the end of the day we have to pay for expensive equipment it costs a lot to maintain if something breaks you have to fix it but then at the same time if you don't put yourself out there and you don't allow certain situations to happen you're not exposing yourself to places that could help you but this is in the same thing as being wise if someone just wants you to film a random club night you have to think to yourself is this where i want to go or is this going to benefit me in any way if the answer is no by all means say okay well i appreciate you're offering me x y and z but for me to bring my services it will cost whatever but if that same club event has opportunities where you think you know what, this can make something good for me long term then by all means take the hit sometimes a hit's not a hit if it gets you a job that's ten thousand pounds plus down the line and that is possible but it's just a case of positioning yourself i've seen many instances where people put themselves in positions and it has elevated their career and i've also done the same thing so it's a game of weighing up stuff sometimes take the money or sometimes just take the opportunity but it's really down to you and what it is and everyone is in charge of their career but it's sometimes just weigh up your options don't always be so quick to turn things down and don't be afraid to drop your price because at the same time 
you don't know what that can make you in the future. So yeah, what's your thoughts on this? Do you feel like working for exposure is rubbish or it's something that you need to do? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation about it. But my name is Aaron Sinclair and this is The Media Moguls. Thanks for tuning in and I will catch you in the next one.